Hi everyone, it's Jeannie from Makers Unify. Today I'm going to show you how I made this angel box to hold my angel cards, uh, crystals, and other accessories. And just a quick reminder to make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video. I used IOD's Wings and Feathers mold uh, using air dry clay. I bought these molds at Sweet and Sassy Treasures and I'll put the link below as they do ship. So here I'm spraying the wings with Ranger Inks spray. As you can see, I sprayed the colors uh, I wanted to use on a piece of paper so that I knew for sure uh, what they would look like. So the colors I'm using on the wings are Rose Quartz and Crushed Grape. I first put a coat of white uh, gesso, I think that's how you say it, uh, on to make sure that the ink didn't soak in too much to the wings. And I like to use a heat gun to dry the ink and to speed up the process. Uh, I then went over the edges with white paint to soften up the edges so that they look more like feathers. I am using a box that I had on hand, uh, which I first painted with the white gesso to cover the wording that was on the box. I then went over this with a mixture of white and pink acrylic paint. I wanted to create a soft pink color. So I painted the whole box inside and out and dried it with a heat gun. I got my inspiration uh, for this box from the Angel Guide Oracle deck that Kyle Gray created. And the artwork was done by Jason McCready. And the specific card that I was inspired by is the Archangel Gabriel or Gabriel card. And I love the pink and the purple colors and the jewels around her face and how soft and feminine it is. So that's what inspired me to create this box. I'm using the corner pieces uh, that are also in the wings and feather mold. And here I'm covering with the gesso. And I also use the IOD lock and key mold. I wanted to place something underneath the wings so I'm using cheesecloth, which I pulled apart a little bit to make it a little fluffier. I sprayed the corners and the keyhole with the Ranger Inks color Funky Fuchsia, and then I lightly brushed with the uh, white paint to soften it up a little bit and bring some of the details out. I wanted to decorate the inside of the box too, so I'm uh, spraying with the funky fuchsia ink and then I kind of spread it out uh, with the heat gun. I also decided to place some more of the cheesecloth inside to soften it up a bit. So I sprayed some more ink on the cheesecloth and then I glued it down after it was dry. So here I'm going to glue the corners down using the tight bond quick and thick glue. Um, and then I decided I wanted to add a little bit of bling. So I grabbed some of these jewels that come in a sheet uh, that already has an adhesive on the back and then press them down on the box.
I then glue the cheesecloth underneath the wings and then glue the wings on top of the cheesecloth. For the keyhole, I just center it on the front of the box and glue it on. And then I decided to add some more jewels to the front of the box. So the feathers are the same ink color as the wings, which is the rose quartz and uh, crushed grape. Glue these on the inside of the box lid. And then I decided I wanted to add a little bit uh, more color to the inside of the box. So I add some more of the fuchsia um, ink and the purple and the rose quartz. And then I dry it up a bit and then um, soften it up a, a bit with some white paint. I used my Cameo to cut out this angel prayer and then I place it on the inside of the box lid between the feathers. This was pretty tedious as uh, the lettering was so small and it kept wanting to lift up as I was trying to scrape it down. So this is a work in progress and I'm just doing what looks and feels good to me. I wanted to create some texture on the sides so I'm using a thick amount of paint and then I'll dry it up a little bit and then I'm going to use this, um, it's a vine from IOD's stamp set called Queen Bee. And what I'll do is I'll press it on the, the thick uh, semi-wet paint and hope that it makes a nice impression. Do this to both sides and I really like how it turned out. I then um, I also decided to add a little bit of texture to the front part of the box. So I'm adding a little bit of more white to the castings to, and then I make sure they're dry and then I cover all the castings with a a coating of Mod Podge to give it uh, some protection and you'll have to excuse the lighting here I just ordered new lights so they won't flash when I speed up the video so there's my angel box I really enjoyed making this and I'm really happy with uh, that I have one place to store all my angel cards and other accessories if you want to see a quick walkthrough of what I keep in my angel box I'll put the link below so let me know in the comments if this is a project that you think that you'll do. And if you decide to make your own, let me know. And I would be happy to share your creations with everyone. Thanks again for watch watching, and I'll see you in the next video.